date back to 2006 and show she is a trustee of the properties, not an owner. But those documents are written in a font called Calibri, which was not commercially available until 2007. If you look at 1992 and 93, this is a very important time. Mariam Essers grew 21 times, and there's no justification for that. In a single year, you are not a business owner. There's no business under your name, but 21 times your assets are going up. In 1992, Mariam Nawaz turned 19 years old. After the Panama Papers revelations, Pakistan's investigative agencies probed the financial affairs of the Sharif family. The joint investigation team basically found out that uh, Mr. Nawaz Sharif uh, could not justify uh, the assets he had made uh, from known sources of income. That was one of the main charges. The matter was sent for criminal prosecution. In criminal prosecution, there was a trial which went on for almost a year. And in that trial, not even a single answer came from Mr. Sharif about the origin of his wealth or the explanation of those four Avonfield flats in London. Where is the money trail? That they have never been able to prove. The Sharif family is believed to be one of the wealthiest in Pakistan, but the origin of their wealth remains a mystery. The flat that you're living in at the moment in, in Mayfair was actually named in the Pakistani paper, The News, last year as one of four which was illegally bought by your father through various Swiss and offshore companies. Why don't people who, is, who are actually blaming us for that go to the courts and prove it? But do you know who owns the flat that you're living in? Well, that is not the question right now. Why not? But it's the question I'm asking you. Do you know who owns the flat? Well, 